All right, everybody, we're going through rotations in geometry. You're gonna try to do two different videos, one for rotations, one for dilations, whatever comes next. Um, let's do these one page at a time. Obviously, we're not gonna do a whole lot of these, just like yesterday. A rotation is a turn. I think most of us got that. Around a fixed point called the, and this is also kind of obvious here, center of rotation. So you're gonna turn around the center of rotation. All right, that, sure, I get that, right? Not a big deal. Now, the figure rotates at a specific angle. Also have to try, talking to this. Angle and direction. I was literally saying I have to avoid writing angel every time. And while I was doing that, SMH. Now, the most common one is the origin. Um, as far as I'm concerned, the origin is the only one we're going to do. So here we go. Counterclockwise is also more common than clockwise, which is a little unusual. But if you think about math and you think about the quadrants, we have quadrant one, two, three, four. That is counterclockwise. And that's kind of why counterclockwise is more common. Now, 90 degree clockwise, we got a nice little thing here, 180 degrees. Okay, I'm seeing it, we're spinning around. Okay, 270, I'm seeing that we're spinning around. Okay, I get it. How do we get a shape to go from here to here, right? I mean, I, it's a little funky, okay? Basically, we're going to always start, you know, with this, X, Y turns into blank. And same thing here, the x, y is going to do what? And same thing here, the x, y is going to do what? And, you know, if, if we look at these, I'm going to zoom in here, right? If I look at a, a compared to a prime, these are on different y values. These are also on different x values. So the x and the y are definitely going to have to change. The x and the y, uh, you know, we'll kind of see what happens. Same thing here. If I look at a and a prime, they're, they're on different x values. They're on different y values. Okay, okay, okay. Over here, again, the same kind of thing. Okay, we're going to have to change them both. Nobody's staying the same. Let's see how this looks. And I got the key right here. Boom. The world's slowest zoom ever, I guess. There we go. So we're going for negative y comma x, negative y comma x. And this isn't gonna be an open notes test, so make sure you take some good notes. This would be a very important thing to take notes on. Then we're gonna have negative x, negative y, negative x, negative y. And then we're gonna have y comma negative x. Honestly, the reality is it's very hard to be intuitive about this pattern. It's very hard to be like, oh, well, I know that these are gonna, and they're gonna rotate, and then they're gonna, it's very hard to do that. Just memorize these, okay? Just, just memorize these. So here's what we're gonna do. Memorize them, but it's open notes. So just write them down, okay? There we go. We're gonna be desperately referring to this all day. We're gonna be flipping back to it all the time. Anytime I'm doing a rotation question, whoop, here comes these notes. I'm gonna pull them out. So number one, triangle ABC with vertices ABC. All right, cool, let's get them on there, let's do it. Triangle A, two, seven, over two, up seven, got it. B, six, five, over six, up five, got it. C, over four, up one, got it. Boom, boom, boom. We got it, and this was A, and then this was B, and then this was C. So, we're not gonna be sliding it we're not gonna be reflecting it, we're gonna be rotating it around, 
Okay, 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 I'm following this. We need to go 90 degrees counterclockwise. So that means we're gonna go from here and a 90 degree turn is gonna be like this. Honestly, that's gonna be tough, but look, I got my little converter and this is not tough. I'm literally going to take my two numbers, switch them around so my Y comes first and make sure that this Y becomes a negative Y. Again, it's very hard to be intuitive about where this is coming from, so just follow the rules and just let it rock, okay? So here's what I'm gonna do. My A is two seven, so I'm gonna switch it to a seven two. And remember, that Y needs to be negative. Now I wanna be super clear, when you see these negatives up here, it's more like opposite than it is negative. So if your number is already negative, that second negative is gonna turn yours back into a positive number. So these just basically means the opposite of y comma x, not negative. Okay, cool. B is six five, so I'm gonna switch it and it's gonna be five six, negative. That's easy. C prime, we got four one, it's gonna be one four, negative, boom. 10 seconds, I did all of them. Let's graph it. Negative one, positive four, that's gonna be C prime. Then we got negative seven, two. Negative seven, two, that's gonna be A prime. Then we got negative five, six. Negative five, positive six. That's gonna be B prime. And let's draw this. And did I miss? I think I put B in the wrong spot. Negative five, six. I knew, I knew it right away. And the good news is I'm writing in pencil so I can do this without making it look stupid. Sort of. There we go. We got our graph and look at it. Did it rotate 90 degrees? I think it's looking really sharp. And all we have to do, switch those and make the Y negative. Okay, cool. 180. Well, 180 says leave them the same, but go for a negative, negative type action. That's even easier. Let me get the original one on there. P is two, six. Got it. So I'll label it. Q is six, five. This is the one that messed me up earlier. Six, five. Got it. Five, one. Five, one. Got it. And S is one, two, one, two. Too easy. Boom, 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 boom. It looks like a square, it looks like a square. I think we're good. Now, doing this part is so easy. Parentheses with a comma, parentheses with a comma, parentheses with a comma, parentheses with a comma. Take the number, leave them the same, opposite signs. So, two, six, negative, negative. Six, five, negative, negative. Don't need to change anything, just the signs. Five, one, negative, negative. One, two, negative, negative. Got it. Plot these down and I should be good. Negative two, negative six, boom, P prime. Negative six, negative five, negative six, negative five, boom, Q prime. Negative five, negative one, negative five, negative one, R prime. Negative one, negative two, negative one, negative two, boom, S prime. There's my square. Is it rotated 180? Chick, chick. I think it looks good. Rotate once, rotate twice. There it is, perfectly into that. Kind of think about it like, especially when they're in the first quadrant, a 90 degree is a one quadrant. A 180 is a one, two quadrants. And so if we're gonna go 270, it's gonna go chick, chick, chick. My arm's gonna break in half even more. It's actually already broken. Flip over this paper. Let's check out number three, and we are absolutely speeding up at an immense rate right now. Number three, a trapezoid with vertices, and we're going counterclockwise, 207 degrees. Oh my God, that's insane. Here we go, get these three down. Three, four, got it. J, six, four, six, four, got it, K. Let me make sure, because that sounds weird. Three, four, six, four, okay, cool. L is eight, one, 
Got it. That's L. And then we got M is 1, 1. Got it. That's M. Sure. Trapezoid. Looks good enough. Now, what am I going to do for a 270? I'm going to switch them, and I'm going to make this X negative. All right. I can do that. Boom, 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 boom. I'm going to switch them. 3, 4 is going to be 4, 3. Make this one negative. The Y term that used to be the X term is now going to be negative. 6, 4, backwards. 4, 6, whoop, put a negative on there. 8, 1, 1, 8, whoop. And 1, 1, going to stay 1, 1, negative. Get these on here. 1, negative 8. Sheesh. Was I supposed to go 8, 1 for L? That's supposed to be over a little bit further. Yuck. 8, 1. I don't know why I did L first. 1, negative 8. Sure, that's L. Let's go back over here to J. 4, negative 3. 4, negative 3. Got it. J prime. 4, negative 6. Over 4, down 6. That's K prime. And M is 1, negative 1. Right here, that's M. Boom, 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 boom. So this just went 1, 2, 3. Three turns around, 270. It went one quadrant ahead, two quadrants ahead, three quadrants ahead. And it spun into the correct place. Awesome. We don't need to practice 180 or 270. I mean, whatever. We get this. You've done it once. You've done it 100 times. Moving on. This whole paper's crossed out, which is ridiculous. But we do have a clockwise example. Um, clockwise is the opposite of counterclockwise, okay? If you think about a clock, and if we normally start here, and we say that this is 90, and that this is 180, and that this is 270 in the clockwise direction, or counterclockwise direction, then what is 90 in the clockwise direction? So that means I need to go, instead of one to the left, I need to go one to the right. Now, basically, what I'm trying to tell you is that 90 degrees clockwise is the same as 270 degrees counterclockwise. We're getting to the same place here, okay? Hint, think of the corresponding clockwise rotation that apply that rule, aka 90 degrees clockwise. Okay, instead of using my 90 counter, I need to use my 270 counter. So I might even write down here 90 degrees clockwise. This would be 270 degrees clockwise. And you might be asking yourself, how come this 180 doesn't say anything? 180, no matter which direction you go, is going to be the same, right? So if you go left 180, right 180, you're going to be at the same exact location. Honestly, if that confuses you, it's not even worth me teaching it to you. Just use this no matter what. So here we go. 90 degrees clockwise. Let's get these graphed on here. 1, 5, 1, 5. Boom. Got it. That's L. M, 3, 8, 3, 8. Boom. Got it. M, N, 8, 1, 8, 1. Boom. Got it. Make our little triangle. Sweet. We got it. Slice of pizza. Easy peasy. Now, 90 degrees clockwise, don't use the 90 rule, use the 270 rule. So, I'm gonna go ahead, give me one second. What's going on, sir, how are you? More than welcome to plug it in, of course. No problem. So we're working with 270 degrees, normally counterclockwise, but that's gonna be our 90 clockwise rule. So we're gonna go with, switch them, make that second one negative, so I'm gonna go with L, M, N, switch them, five, one, make that second one negative. Switch them, eight, three, make that second one negative. Switch them, one, eight, 
make that second one negative. And for all of these, you're drawing these pictures, so if you get one wrong, you're gonna know. It's gonna look ugly. It's gonna be noticeably wrong. So let's see here. Five, negative one. Five, negative one. Okay. Eight, I guess I'll label that L prime. Eight, negative three. All right. And one, negative eight. Is this the same piece of pizza that has been spun 90 degrees in this direction? Perfect. And if we think about spinning in 90 degrees in the clockwise direction, that's the same thing as 90, 180, ugh, 270 in the counterclockwise direction. I think we're good. I think we got this. You know what? Rotations, not that hard. We're so good. This is so easy. Moving on. Dilation. Actually, I said we'd do two videos, so done. Two videos. Next.